No shit. Stop buying poison for your kids. Stop killing. You know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never giving up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the nasty truth behind the foods that you and your kids are probably eating. Woohoo! Awesome! Back. Oh no, that is a nightmare. The sound effects are a nightmare. So what are we talking about today? What are we talking about on the show the today? The nasty truth behind the foods that you and your kids are probably eating. So all of that stuff. All right. So what are, the, what are some of the main bullet points we're going to be hitting today when we're talking about this top topic? Artificial topic. food colorings. And what or else? AFCs. We're also going to be talking about a nasty ingredient that is in some fast food restaurants and school lunches. And then school, a nasty ingredient that's in fast food restaurants and an ingredient that's in school lunches? No, or not, school lunches is separate? School lunches is separate. Although they probably have the nasty ingredient also, I'm yes. sure. So what is the first thing you said? Colors? Art, colors? So let, let's, let's, let's get started. Let's jump right into it. Tell me about the colors. All right. So I have a lot of... Wait, 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 wait. Before, before we start, why don't we get a starting joke? Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, what do you got? Right. You can't say that and not be ready, kid. Okay, there. There we go. All right. What is the longest word in the dictionary? The longest word in the dictionary. The supercalifragilistic, whatever, lustrous. Nope. The longest word in the dictionary. I guarantee it's dumb. Is this figure outable? No. If it's not, then why are we doing it as a riddle? And time. Give me a. Uh, that's messed up. So, why were you? So, why did you have your finger on that button the whole time? You didn't even I give me a chance. It since nine. I didn't know you didn't give me a chance. So there's like a there's like a measurement in the middle of the word, like a measurement word in the middle of the word. What? I don't have no idea what. Smiles, because it's a mile between each s. <laughs> that is horrible. That is horrible. That is. Only figure outable by like Alvin Einstein or some shit. Okay, now on to the nasty truth. Dun dun dun. All right, we nasty don't have truth. a dun dun dun. So we're talking about artificial colors. The the quick brief bullet point version, right? Not the old. All right. Okay, so, what we got? so I have a lot of stuff on yellow five, which is one of the AFCs, artificial food colorings. So actually, yellow five has been used ever since 1969. It's been around for a really long time, and they use yellow five in a lot of different things. They use, even use yellow five in medication, cosmetics, and maybe not surgery or anything like that. But if you have any treatments around your eye they even use it in eye area treatments so if you're going to the store maybe don't like prescription medication even that so it, they always say if you see something that you need to say you're sick or something and it's just like the regular white tablet then you're not going to want to buy that and you see one that is like colorful or something like that then you're going to want to buy that more because it's colorful. so they're putting this in just to get your attention just to get you to spend more money so they're poisoning you well i don't know if it's poison what's in this what is yellow five what is it about it's so it's so many different things really we're gonna get out into that later but i have some other stuff about it so although you're not always like say you're looking through an ingredients list and you're like one one of like your family's like us you look through an ingredients list if you think something might have an artificial food color like yellow five in it. You may not always see it, but if if something looks like that it obviously has it, then they can hide it in different names, like different code words. So yellow five, one of the most common common code words for it is tartrazine. Is what? Tartrazine. So, so you might not even think. So when we quickly look at ingredients and we just look because it's easy to find yellow five or red, whatever, because it stands out because it's a number and a color. We easily look for that. It might be something else in there. 
Yeah, code words. Try to hide it. Yeah, we could. We gotta study those those code words. What is it? Tridexterine. What is it? Tartrazine. So uh, we actually have a story. So uh, in New York, there were these delicious guacamole chips called guaca chips. They were. Uh, we thought they were all natural and they were made out of avocado, but they looked awfully green. And one time, me and Tyson were eating them, and he's like, he pointed out like, "Hey, you have something green on your tongue." So he told that, and he's like. This has artificial colors in it. And we ate those for months yeah, and yellow months. Yellow five and blue one, I think. Because we didn't even think of it. They're like these guacamole. You think they're natural chips, like with good ingredients. We never even thought to check the ingredients of chips. Probably we need to check some other ingredients. What's some... I have one in my head. I want to see if you can come up with it. What are some foods you think that we wouldn't think have artificial colors? We'll probably have I actually them. have one. Pasta. Like sometimes you... See, like pre-packaged pasta, which means like... Say you see like pasta and packages like so there's obviously the normal tan one but then there's sometimes like vegetable ones like the red the green the orange yeah the red green and those orange, are fake colors yellow. just to make it look cool not all of them but most of them most or some i don't think most it can't be maybe most. not most but like we got to check that yeah you know what i like veggie straws veggie straws veg- too no those have the color those don't have artificial colors though we checked did we We've never. We've tried. looked at the ingredients. We had to have looked at the ingredients on those, but I'm just saying those are the colors like similar to the pasta that they must put in. Yeah, the and pastas. Doritos too. Like I remember one time we were it was Halloween and we got those, and we checked the ingredients. They literally had colors just because of the sprinkles on them. Like just to make little, it look cool and to get your attention yeah. and to make you want to eat them. One that I know of that I found only in certain ones is pickles. There's certain pickles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there's certain pickles, not all of them, but certain ones because they want it to be extra like glowy, greeny, nasty, neon neon green to stand out. So when you're looking through and you see all these nasty pickle waters through the aisles and then this one just pops out and they want you to buy it. So they will poison you to get your money. Uh Uh-oh, let's hope. Bubby's Pickles. Bubby's Pickles are the greatest pickles that you can buy in a jar. This video is not sponsored by Bubby's, but if you like pickles, hopefully they're healthy. Do not buy them until we check Now we need to go check to see if it has dextrazine or whatever. Yeah, we need to we need to update you guys on this. So until we update you, don't buy Bubby's pickles. But if we update you and there's something good, then you definitely need to buy Bubby's pickles. This is not a sponsorship. We have to see if they have dex dextrazine. All right. So what else? Tell me what else more about the yellows. So yellow five is actually banned in like it's legal in Austria and Norway due to diseases. Illegal or legal? Illegal. So it's illegal in some countries, but legal here. Why? Why is it legal here? I have no idea, but the, so the reason that they banned it in Austria and Norway is due to diseases that they ca- that it caused, and it actually gives lack. It, it makes children have a lack of attention, lack of attention in children. Did you have anything uh, yellow? Yeah, I was literally just about to say that. Don't steal my. Sh- did you have anything yellow before this this show, Mitch? No. Are there are there any other side effects to it? I had yellow, but pineapple, so. Hopefully they didn't have coloring. Pineapple. Some. I bet your fruits will start doing it too, just to make them pop a little more. If, if they do, that literally ruins the purpose of fruits. They'll do it. They'll do it. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They don't care. So how could they? Uh, anyway, that's crazy. All right. So keep keep on going. What else you got? So the British government. So uh, the British. Uh, Great Britain is very close to, I think, banning it and making it illegal because the British government encouraged food companies not to add it to their food. And the British version of Skittles and Nutri-Green bars, both very popular foods in America, are dyed with natural colors like paprika, beetroot powder, carmine, lycopene, saffron, carrot oil, and annatto. Skittles? Okay. Skittles? Don't. Healthy Skittles. Well, okay, we just healthy, gotta... healthy as in doesn't what, have... What are Skittles? Do you know eat all these little foods? I used to eat every single one of them. Wait, Twinkies, ho hos, yodels, funny bones, wait, everything. What are that? What everything. Are funny bones? Exactly. What are yodels? Funny bone was like, yodel was like similar to a Twinkie, except there was chocolate on the outside. A funny bone was similar to a Twinkie, but it was chocolate on the outside and like peanut butter cream on the inside. Oh man, those were good. You will get fat as hell eating that stuff, but it was good. And it's like poison too artificial as hell but it was good i ate every when i was a kid i ate every whatever i can get my hands on i would eat i would eat all that crap when i was a kid did you know that also sometimes white icing has artificial colors did you guys ever have skittles 
We've never had Skittles. You've we, never we, had Skittles. Never are you really even had, like? A, are I, you even American? You mean Great Britannian? Yeah. If you want to have me, I'd be Great Britannian. So you don't. Also, I was just about to say something. The oh, like all that stuff back then. Did it still? It had colors in it. Of course. I'm sure it did. Most? I would even say I bet there's some stuff that didn't have colors or didn't have that Back much then, stuff yeah. in there and they added it to like enhance it even more, but probably did. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. But actually white icing sometimes also has it like red 40, but they just put tiny little bit just to make the white glow kind of. So it's, you need to check like if you're making cookies or something, check your icing. Also, certain studies say that even, or not even, this is a lot, but it's about like one serving, 50 milligrams of AFC, artificial food colorings, is enough to cause behavioral changes in children. 50 milligrams. Well, that sounds like a lot. 50 milligrams, it must be a lot, right? Yeah, but common juice product, Cool Aid, the cherry flavor, Burst Cherry, has 52.3 milligrams of AFC. So just like one serving of it is enough to make you go crazy. So one what? serving, one serving already has more than what was it? The amount that what? So the fifty milligrams. So one serving has fifty milligrams. Around that. So wait. Do you think kids are ever having just one serving of something? Never. <laughs> and, and then, then they're plus having they have that extra. They're having the drinks more than one serving, but that's to wash down the Skittles and the Twinkies and the all the other stuff that they're having and the ice cream with sprinkles and all this other stuff. All right, let's, let's, what else we got? Keep moving. So here's a little bit of a cancer subject on Yellow 5. <laughs> Great, it gets better, I see. This is, this is awesome. Yellow 5 affected white blood cells in humans, which makes diseases like cancer and makes tumor growth more likely. And this is a, 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 an ingredient that's allowed in this country. Yes. I can see why it's banned in other countries. Wait, and, wait, and exactly how many countries is abandoned? Two. Just two out of like 150 something? And Great Britain is very close to banning it. There's got to be there's maybe some other smaller countries. Maybe those like the main big countries. But there's got to be some other ones that ban this garbage. But we don't because we want to make that dollar. <laughs> yeah, so yellow five can damage the DNA in those white blood cells, causing them to mutate. So, if so you, now it's mutating you. You're turning you yes, into like literally zombies. Turn, turn, yeah, exactly. They're like Walking Dead, turning you into zombies. So that's it's, good. Job. That's just great. So it's giving you better, uh, better. What is it? Better attention in the kids, or would you say uh, behavior, behavioral changes? Behavioral changes, aka little demon child children, and cancer and mutating. These sound like sounds like a good, healthy product to be put in foods. Do you think? Yeah. It's, do you think it's pretty common to be in a lot of foods in this country? Yes, but. But later on, the the ingredient that is in some of the fast foods is it's even worse. Wow, it gets worse than this. That's just awesome. When, I wonder what percent of foods, if you're in a grocery store, in an average grocery store, have artificial colors. More than fifty percent. Yeah, or maybe not that much because there's a lot of. If like, you take out like the meat, eggs, yogurt, all that kind of stuff, doesn't have it. That's a big chunk. Uh, some yogurts have it, like some of those in just the aisles. Ones. You know, how, like if you go around the perimeter of the grocery, usually that's the good stuff. You get. The bread, like the teachers the always say, butter, the teachers the always eggs. say, like, don't go into the middle of the grocery store. Make sure you buy your carrots and your broccoli. I don't know a single kid who has listened to that, including me. The carrots and broccoli. <laughs> so yeah, if you eat a little bit too much of artificial colors, you're gonna be a mutated zombie. All right, what's another artificial color that we have? So, um, actually, I know something else about that so most of the common afcs people eat are metabolized in your colon so colon cancer would be the most likely and what's another color what's another color so besides yellow um another one is red 40 red 40 can increase allergies and misbehavior in children and um (laughs) how do they get these yeah so red 40 does the most how do they figure out that these things cause Misbehavior or behavioral they, de- they tested on <laughs> exactly. children. That's so much allergies. How do they come up with this this data and this information? Uh, but I guess they tested on children. children? <laughs> like, I, I, so do they go into the schools and say, "All right, half the kids we're going to give this poison, the other half we're not. We're not going to tell them. We're going to slip it into their little sippy cups, 
and see what happens. And the half that took them were like bouncing off the walls, hanging from the ceiling fans and all this other stuff. So in another food coloring, blue one lake. So uh, wait, 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 could you say that again? Blue one lake? I don't know what lake means. What the hell does lake mean? So in test. Why was it? Wait, what does lake mean? Let's search it up. Blue one lake. Let's see what it means. Look that up. Keep going while he's looking that up. So, intestines on mice, blue one, blue one lake, gave them large kidney tumors. Kidney tumors now. It just keeps getting better and better. These are some top-notch freaking ingredients. This is some top-notch stuff. What else we got on the red? The red? What is it? Red lake? What is it? Red blue? What is it? Blue 40? Blue one lake. So, yeah. If and red 40. Red 40 and blue one lake we're talking about. kidney tumors. So, you're going to... Awesome. Yeah. This is just all right. Awesome all right. Stuff. All right. Okay. I have something. I have one more thing. Just one more little thing. A 29 study measured the toxicity of yellow five on flies. Research uh, results show that when yellow five was delivered to the flies at the fourth highest concentration, which is like basically how much, <coughs> so it became toxic. About 20 percent of the flies in the group didn't survive, but yeah. Uh, in another part of the study, uh, human leukemia cells were cells were exposed to different food colorings. Researchers found that while yellow five and other AFCs can increase tumor cell growth, they they don't cause damages or changes to human DNA at their allowed concentrations. So basically, what they're allowed to test with isn't enough to change anything in the humans. So there's a certain amount they're allowed to test in. Yeah. So basically the government or whoever allows them to do those tests, they only give them just the right amount so they, it, they can't get any real stuff out of it. So this is the amount that scientists get to use, and this is the amount that makes you go crazy. So they don't even know it because they're not allowed to test a certain amount because that's probably not yep. safe and to test a certain amount because they know it'll make you go batshit crazy. So and we I can't test that amount, the- but we could put that amount in your foods. Cause- All right. So we, I, we now are going to know what lake means. So I'm going to read this answer. A lake color or lake pigment is basically insol... How do you say it? Insoluble in nature. Insoluble. Insoluble in nature and colors through dispersion. Lakes are produced... Through precipitation of soluble dyes with all right, you lost us. Metallic uh, right, salt. Yeah, we lost us. All right. What does let's, that mean? Exactly, I, it means that it sounds like poison and shit, and that's that's that. Let's keep things simple here, and not let's not bore the audience to death. Let's keep it straightforward and simple. All right, let's move on. We're, we're moving got? on to school lunches. School lunches. So when when we were back in school, we do home lifing now. When we were back in school, <laughs> we were back in school. The school lunches were absolutely great. They were super nutritious and healthy. So first off, we start off with corn dogs. Very good source of protein and carbs. Pizza, cookies. If I remember correctly, they used to send during the Coronas when you had like the hybrid days where it was like Zoom and not hybrid. Zoom or whatever they call it. They would send you home with these. They would give you these lunches in school. And I remember you trying out a corn dog a time or two. And then you told me not there. Bull crap. You had it you like had several it like times. Several That's times. a lie. That, okay, you cannot lie in front of our three listeners. That you, you cannot do. You, Says the guy who's lying. No, you had it several times. You had it at least a couple times. No, I did. I'm talking like a couple weeks worth. Yeah. What? Yeah. No. So we're not done there. It's, it's like for Corn the drink. dog is just pure trash. For the drink, it's either milk, chocolate milk, or strawberry milk. Burgers, waffles, and French toast, pancakes, chicken nuggets, and mashed potatoes. And I have one question for both of you. What do you think was the most healthiest out of... The milk? (laughs) Milk, the milk. The milk, that's probably... It is. And and there's some statistics on... Maybe Maybe the burger without the nasty bread. Yeah, there's a show... There are literally thousands of articles about school lunches and what they put in them. And I found a pretty good one with some very good statistics. So... So he had to actually take a bunch of screenshots because it's, it's like, so bad that they don't let you copy and paste it. They don't let you copy and paste it. So, in California, animal products make up 74%, $115 million of the state's annual USDA food purchasing. 
This includes 30 million pounds of poultry, 21 million pounds of cheese, 17 million... 21 million pounds of cheese? 17 million pounds of beef, and 2.5 million pounds of pork. <laughs> exactly what? And is this per day, per week, or per year? This is per year. Oh, I would if you told me per, it would, things are so whack these days that if you said it was per day, I'd be like, makes sense. Twenty one million pounds of cheese they're shoving into, into kids, and they're and it's not like good quality. I'm sure it's like nasty garbage cheese. Out. Yeah, yes. And there is some more. I have to read. Uh, this is what one of the the like the like they had like a picture of what the school lunches would look like in school. Here's a picture of it. So we have that's, some... Oh. That's not true at all. Yeah, that's so, bullshit. They show like some so, hummus and some orange slices and carrots and some like fresh looking kiwi and then some milk. And what is that? Like some... Bar- sandwich. Catch, barbecue catch sauce or something. Or something. Yeah. And, we have and then like, like a, some pita bread with a salad. This is not... Have you ever seen a school lunch look like this? No. What and, a and scam. Plus, the tray is much nicer. It's like a blue plastic much tray. Much nicer. Like those are, those are Ours like... Ours were foam. Those are like the ones in high school that you literally have to pay for. <laughs> you have to pay for. So actually, I have a little story to say. I'm not going to say which school, but when we went to school, when we used to go to school, so there would be that trashy main meal, or I wouldn't even call it a meal, but the main part of your school lunch. And then after that, once they gave you your slop or whatever it was. <laughs> slop? What are you in the freaking... the Prison? The Chateau Deef. So, uh, Where's but Chateau then, uh, Deef from? Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah, also not sponsored. Go watch that movie. That is a very good movie. Awesome movie. Count of Monte Cristo. So, yeah. So, after, though, we'd have this thing called the... Our, uh, they called it the salad bar. So, they'd have, like, lettuce, orange slices. Sometimes they had grapes. They had carrots. They had celery. They had, like, a bunch of vegetables so it sounds there. pretty decent. So yeah, there's some option. I bet the majority majority of kids didn't eat that. Actually, surprisingly, they had to keep they had to keep a lady there the whole entire time to keep refilling it. Who was eating it? Oh, a lot of the kids, but mostly just the girls. I was just gonna say, I have a feeling I never saw any boys and yeah. going up. That's eating what some I also thought. Too. Carrots and celery and little bell tomatoes and crap like that. Also, there are some more statistics like about all like the millions of pounds. So for the beef, I don't know. There or for the poultry, forty four percent of the sales, fifteen million dollars, is from like the Tyson company. It's from the Tyson company. Fifteen that million company sounds like trash. That's ha just ha me. ha. And then Jenny O is eighteen percent of the sales, six million dollars, and Pilgrims twelve percent of the sales, five million dollars. Jeez. And then for the cheese, twenty eight percent of the sales is Leprino Foods, which is ten million dollars. Right. And yeah, there's it's just millions of dollars worth of food. All right. And what was it let me ask you guys this question. If there if you had a free pass on eating whatever you want, it wasn't gonna make you sick and it what well, you were allowed to eat whatever you wanted and you didn't care. And it was healthy? It doesn't matter. That's you have a free pass. It's not gonna do anything to you, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you eat it. What's one food you would want to try or eat? Definitely not Skittles because we already have a choice to because we could just go to Great Britain. Oh, you know, like so you're gonna go to Great Britain just for, just for we're Skittles. Gonna, we're gonna go across the world border. The world what, border. Whatever. So you'll it's be at, not the the you'll country be at, at the what the hell's that called when you go into uh, the state the, check, not the immigration, the something, whatever you. They ask you. I, they ask you, "What are you visiting the country for?" And you say, oh, "I'm going to visit family." Or I'm going to eat some skittles. Exa- or work, but no, we're going to get some skittles. We flew across the country, across the globe, to get they some put us skittles. In jail. They think we're nuts. They think we had a bunch of yellow and red forty in us. Holy crap! All right, now for the finale of no. The so the question: what was, oh, what was one food you guys oh, would right, try? Right, 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 right. What would you want to try? I remember you talking about a Big Mac or something one time, but I What's think I Big Mac. Are you two even American? Jeez, that was a little loud. You don't know a Big Mac? You said that twice today. Are you two even you American? You can't have any Skittles or Big Mac. We all right. We need to do one day. No, I because then I can't. I can't. That we're just gonna eat trash, so you could see what it's like to eat trash. You always say on our deathbeds, but what's the chances that we're all gonna be in our deathbeds together? 
Yeah, on our deathbeds, we'll all eat trash. Well, if we eat loud trash, we'll probably all die that same day. We'll all die together. It'll be good. No, we need to have a day. Big Mac. Big Macs are... Uh, Big Macs are... I feel like I've had better sandwiches than that. Probably a better, like, burger, like a, a good... Those, like, steakhouses and restaurants we go to. Jack Allen's Kitchen. Third third not fake sponsorship. Third, third not, fake, not sponsorship. Third, third fake sponsorship. Go to Houston? Jack Allen's Kitchen in, in Houston, Austin, Texas. Texas. Austin, Texas. Austin, yeah. They had literally the most delicious food on planet Earth. So you probably had a better burger, but when you have a Big Mac, it's just a combination of, I don't know, the, the, their, they have their secret sauce, they call it. McDonald's has a secret sauce, which no one knows it is, but it's like crack and it get, it's like addictive. Probably a little bit of sprinkle, a little snort of cocaine in there to get you to come back for more. Morning snort of cocaine. Exactly. Holmes and Watson, watch that too. Third, fourth, 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 fourth not sponsor, Holmes and Watson. They have sponsors. a little. So what's the food? Big Mac? Would you try Big Mac? Let's do it. Like Let's. I, this, no, now but that would I be can a never video. say that I've never had McDonald's in my life. But that would be a video to do. All of us eating that stuff for a day just to see what it's like. Going to having some Twinkies. I feel so guilty and a Big after, Mac. Though. Going to freaking Dairy Queen. Speaking of Big Mac. What's Dairy Queen? Oh, my God. Speaking of Big Mac. Are you even Great British? Speaking of Big Macs, a few days ago we were watching this YouTube video from Will Tennyson. It's a guy on YouTube. He was eating the average American's diet, which is which they one out of three Americans eat fast food every single day. Thirty three percent of Americans eat fast food every day. That is which is like McDonald's, that is disgusting. Taco, pizza, Taco Bell. What's Taco Bell? No, mm-hmm. pizza. Not, they didn't even consider pizza fast food. Pizza. Then also in addition to that. Um, people have average one pizza one to two times a week or something like that. And that, that would be the last meal on their deathbed. They said something like 70 something percent of Americans that the last meal on their, uh, on their deathbed would be pizza. pizza. And then also and Snickers was the number one chocolate bar. Lay's potato chips Lay's potato is the number, number one snack. snack. How many times a day do people snack? Three times a day. Three people times snack. a day people snack, which and gives them an increase of how much percentage of their calories. So, so the average male American eats about 2,000 calories per day. No, should like, be eating 20, 2,500. 2,500. Oh, 2,500. Sorry. And, and women, 2,000. That's for an average Amer- um, oh, adult. Yes, adult. And, but the average male American eats now 3,600. 30, it's like 36 or 3,700. Yeah. And, and that's the average. And 77% of those extra calories are from them snacking. It's not even from like snacks. the regular food. It's from them eating snacks. Cookies, mm-hmm. cakes, ice cream, potato chips, Snickers, donuts. Like, like the Snickers and the chips is part of the snacks. Like Jesus. the ice cream and stuff isn't even but One that. in three Americans eat fast food every single day. That is freaking crazy. That's why 70, something like 72% of Americans are overweight and like 40 something percent are obese of American adults. If you have 72% overweight and 40 something percent obese. That is ridiculous. If you haven't watched one of the latest episodes, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of the latest episodes where someone called someone obese. Oh, where I was called obese, yeah. Yeah, you were called obese. You spoiled it. Police officers in the previous episodes. So shout out to Will Tennyson. So what was the food you would try? You still haven't answered the damn question. A Twinkie? A Twinkie (laughs) Big Mac. I don't know. Where was that movie? I've tried them all, so I don't even care. Where was that movie? I've literally had them all. I've had Burger King. I I never ate Taco Bell. Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think I had maybe once in my life. We've never had that. Of course not. You've never had any fast food in the world. I'd take a Big Mac over KFC. I think. I feel like it. They, it's like fried chicken. I remember chicken. I saw them. They, like they look deep, pretty good. I remember. Well, I well, I remember one of my uncles. I'm not saying who. I saw them eat KFC one time, and it looked pretty good. It was like a big basket full of a bunch. Of, of course, chicken. that all stuff looks good. That's why people eat it because it's so addictive and fattening. Oh. It's so easy to be. It's so easy to get fat. The closest stuff is, thing I had to like a fast food is In and Out. And that was a bur- burger. You had a burger or fries. All right, so. What is the ingredient you were talking about earlier? You said there's something even worse dun, than these colors. Dun, dun. What was it? So something even worse than colors. The material on the bottom of your sneaker or like the material of a yoga mat. What are you talking about? They put... You're giving you doings. What are you talking about? They put inside of the bread of McDonald's Did and you eat other too much food. yellow five? I know. What are you talking about? 
You're telling me there's a, a, a sneaker and what else? A yoga mat. They will put, A yoga mat in my put, bread. Yes, they will put that material inside your bread. But not the healthy like whole wheat breads. You are wrong, my friend. In su- it's even Subway, in the healthy whole wheat breads? Subway, like the whole wheat, even all the breads had just a tad of one of those yoga mat and sn- the bottom of your sneaker material. In your food. And this is allowed. Yeah, just to condition the bread, just to make Do it. Do they still have that? Is that still currently in the food? No. Foods? So it, the, all of the brands or most of the brands that some people did studies on and boycotted it, they all got rid of it in 2014. Subway was the first one. It got rid of it in April 2014. And there was this one guy that had a video that did a time lapse of the McDonald's one. So the first video, he did it without the material, like just a regular burger. Without I think. the yoga mat in the bread? Yeah. And he just placed it there for one month. And the entire thing was white and black filled with mold. Then the other one was with the yoga mat material. After a month, it looked completely fresh. That is nasty. That is disgusting. We're eating yoga mats and we're eating sneakers and we're having artificial colors and these nasty school lunches. And that's why this country is so freaking fat. Like this is really the nasty truth about what people should be eating. Like if you're eating this stuff, Especially, and you probably you might even know this stuff, but after hearing these things that these kids are telling you today, getting this told from kids, like stop killing yourself, stop killing your kids, like you are killing your kids by living this way and eating these types of things. You are literally killing your kids. And guess who buys that stuff from the grocery store? Your kids do not go to the grocery store by themselves. Of course, you're doing it. The parents are doing it. And the parent, I don't know, my kid is Stop. eating so much junk food. Well, how did they get in the, why did you let your six-year-old drive to the store and go buy a bunch of groceries and junk food? Oh, I didn't. How'd they get it? Oh, I bought it. Well, no shit. Stop buying poison for your kids. Stop killing your kids. So to kind of wrap up most of this, number one, so this was just like a fraction of research, a fraction of the stuff that's so artificial in food. So... Number one, do your own research. Do most of your own research, too. And number two, if you can't read it in the ingredients list, it's artificial. Yes. And also, shout out to all of our fake sponsorships. And shout out to Will Tennyson for all those statistics about the average American diet. And we will see you next time. So, Bubby's Pickles, Count of Monte Cristo. What was the other ones? Oh, my God. I forgot. Holmes and Watson, and one more, one more like food. I don't remember what it was. Twinkies? No. What movie was Twinkies in? Mm, Zombieland, easy. Zombieland, oh, Zombieland, fifth fake sponsorship. This episode got me hungry. We got to cut this episode short. Technically six, because Will Tennyson. Yeah. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that. Smash that subscribe button. And we will see you next time. Also, leave a review on Spotify. In case no, no one, one told you yet today, today you, you are, are freaking awesome. awesome. No. no excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give it up. No, I'm taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. So let me break, break, break it all down for you.